Okay, so here I am again in the same outfit. Um, as you guys will be able to tell, I don't have a whole bunch of time when the kids aren't around screaming in the background <laughs> because they're watching TV or playing or, you know, whatever. And then I have, you know, that background noise if I don't go ahead and record my videos in multiples so that when I have time, I take that opportunity to do so. So what I wanted to talk about now is some of the emotions that I've been going through and um, kind of, I want to say like revelation knowledge because um, I had an instance happen to me the other night and I blogged about it on Obesity Help, which my um, username on there is L-M-A-G-U-I-L-A-R. So um, if you're on Obesity Help, please uh, add me as a friend. I'd love to follow you there as well as YouTube. <laughs> um, anyway, so you'll read about that if you go there. But what had happened is I purchased some Girl Scout cookies and Girl Scout cookies have always been kind of a big thing for me and I'm not even a sweets person. If you put, um, you know, something salty in front of me or something savory in front of me compared to a sweet, I would always go with the savory, like popcorn or something that's salty like that. Um, I'm not really a sweets girl. I hardly ever eat anything that's sugary. I drink sweet tea, but that's about it. So, anyway, I had the Girl Scout cookies, the ones that are peanut butter, and they're covered with chocolate. I always only eat them two at a time, and not like two at a time, and then five minutes later two at a time. Like two at a time, and then days later I'll have another two. And I always have a little baby glass of milk with it, like that big. And so the cookies last me forever. Well, my family was in town, and my kids, I had set the cookies on the counter, and my kids, like, devoured them in less than a day. So I was kind of upset about that, but I was like, whatever, they're still for sale. So I went and bought some more from the neighbor's daughter. And, um, anyway, so I put those in my room so that the kids wouldn't, you know, get, tear into them and eat them all again. I got them their own Girl Scout cookies so that they could have some too. I wasn't, you know, being selfish or whatever. But anyway, um, my husband kept asking me, he's like, so what would you do with those Girl Scout cookies? And he doesn't even eat them. So I was like, why does he keep asking me that? And I looked to see where they were and they were still in the same place I put them. So then probably three or four days later, I opened the cookies and, or I got the cookies and saw that they were open and there were like four left in the box. And I was really confused so the next day, and my husband's like, you are being ridiculous about this because I was really upset. Not like crying upset, but like angry. Like, really? I just bought these and they're already almost all gone? So I was really frustrated and I, I was like, who ate them? I know that you know who ate them. And he's like, I didn't eat them. You know I didn't eat them. And I said, did you see the kids eat them? He's like, no. I was like, what about my dad? He's like, well, I saw him eat a couple. So... Anyway, I got really, really upset, and he's like, okay, and you're going to have that surgery? Are you really ready to have that surgery if you're reacting like this? Now, sidebar, he is not 100% excited about the surgery because he saw um, an interview with Carney Wilson, who he thinks is absolutely beautiful. I mean, I think the girl is really, really pretty, too. But he saw where she was like thin and met her goal to where after she's had a baby. Hello, who doesn't gain weight after a baby? But anyway, um, he's like, look at that. That's not going to help you, you know, blah, blah, blah. So he's just uneducated, basically. Um, you know, he said he'd support whatever I decided, but he wasn't really backing me up 100%. So anyway... Uh, so he said that about, oh, and you're going to have that surgery and you really think you're ready for it? Well, I walked out of our room, and I was in the living room, and I sat there and I thought, he's right. I mean, it's food. I was getting, like, visibly upset over food. I mean, what is that about? It's food. It's cookies. It's not going to save my life. It's not going to enhance my life. I mean, it's going to give me a feeling of euphoria for like a few minutes because it's something that I enjoy, but it's food. And I began to realize what they're talking about in all these books and, you know, people's videos and things. It's an emotional 
attachment or attraction to food. And that is what keeps us in this kind of a body and not in a healthy, thin, um, you know, easily movable, <laughs> um, you know, body. It, it's food. Something that was designed to make our bodies work and make them function as they were meant to function. Not something that was designed to give us feelings of pleasure and euphoria and comfort and all of these things. So, I guess the revelation that I got was, it was food. And I need to start focusing on something else other than food. And I never thought I was really like an emotional eater. I thought, you know, I eat sometimes when I'm bored. Like if I'm watching TV and I'm not really hungry, but you know, it's like something to do. It's like a behavior that is learned. You know what I mean? Like, watch TV, shove something in my mouth, you know? And anyway, so my question to all of you is, have you been there? And if you have, did you get that same revelation that it's just food? And if so, what did you replace it with? And I don't mean like a, like a transfer addiction. I mean like, did you decide that you were going to start doing a particular exercise to replace that feeling of euphoria? Because we all know, obviously, exercise um, releases the same kind of endorphins that we get when we eat um, food. So did you replace it with exercise? Did you replace it with maybe going and reading a book or spending time with your family or I'm just curious to know if anybody else has been in the in in that situation and what you decided to replace um, that impulsive you know I, I need that kind of a thing what did you replace it with or have you replaced it and maybe this is giving you a little bit of revelation Anyway, um, thank you so much for watching my videos, and I think I might have one more topic to discuss uh, in a video, so I'll probably be posting um, another video today. So again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful week coming up, and keep looking for new videos in the future.